Good Saturday morning. Now, it might not be morning where you are, but for the sake of the intro, it's pretty funny. Regardless, I wish you a good day, but specifically for the morning people, good Saturday morning. I bet you weren't planning on starting your Saturday off by hearing about news of a real apparent yonder eye woman who allegedly stabbed her boyfriend and <laughs> was smiling about it. It's a crazy story, guys. We're going to take a look at this one when I get back from the intro. Get a sip of coffee and get ready. This is a heck of a way to start the day. Let's go. Welcome back. So I'm most likely expecting this video to get demonetized given the subject matter. So I should probably say this. If you want to help support this channel, consider sending a one-time donation through either Streamlabs or PayPal. You can also put a message with your dono and I will read it out in a video. So that's pretty cool. Or monthly through Patreon if you want to sponsor the channel that way. Links in the description for all those options. So take a look at this. I want to give my friend Dougie Fresh a shout out for informing me about this story. He hit me up on Twitter with the information. A Twitter user posting, a 21-year-old girl was arrested for stabbing her male friend who she had an emotional obsession with. She liked it so much she wanted to X him off and then Minecraft herself. The man survived and she was arrested. Here's her smiling in the police car. Before we take a look at that picture though, I also found an article from a website called Japan Today. We might take a look at that as well, but let's take a look at that picture. So here's her in the police car first. Take a look at this. Seems pretty normal, right? She doesn't look happy. She's not smiling in this one. Uh, apparently this is the back of the police car, although I will have to admit the police cars in Japan certainly look different than the cars we have here in the States, but I digress. Next picture very much smiling and apparently happy. Now, I am skeptical. I don't know. Is this really what a police car in Japan looks like? There's no bars or anything? Maybe there's a clear window pane through this. I don't know. But it doesn't exactly look like a police car to me, but I have absolutely no idea what a police car in Japan looks like. But maybe, maybe this is fake news. I don't think it is, though, because it was also reported by, like I said, Japan Today. We'll take a look at that article, but one more time. Look at this stabs her acquaintance or you know boyfriend maybe gets arrested smiles about it classic yandere <laughs> now in an attempt to provide a good video as i always attempt to do i decided to go to our reliable search engine google and look up inside of a police car to see if it looked anything similar to the little amount of the inside of the police car that we saw in the picture of our favorite yonder eye woman from today and to compare the two to see if it looks the same and at this point i can confidently say i don't think this is a true story i think this is fake news because the inside of a police car according to google actually looks like this in japan this is what a japanese police car looks like according to google on the inside and it doesn't really look anything like the inside of the police car that we saw in today's news story so potential fake news i think so in case it wasn't obvious enough, I'm trolling around, I'm kidding about that last bit. I don't think this is actually fake news because, as I said, Japan Today actually covered this. I will link their article in the description so you can take a look yourself, but it more or less said, police have arrested a 21-year-old woman on suspicion of attempted murder after she shanked a malacquaintance in her apartment in Tokyo's Shinjuku district on Thursday. Police have said that they received a call at around 4 p.m. from a woman saying that she had stabbed a man in the stomach. So she shanked him, he was bleeding out, and then she decided to call the police and admit that she actually stabbed the dude in the stomach. Sunkai Shimbun reported, police rushed to the scene and found the man who, somewhere in his 20s to 30s, collapsed and began bleeding out at the entrance of the apartment building. So this dude, he must have been bleeding out before that, but he still somehow made it to the entrance of the apartment building, most likely trailing blood. You better bet this video is getting demonetized. He was taken to a hospital where he is allegedly in critical condition. This is crazy. I mean, you guys saw what she, uh, what she looked like. She's a fairly nice looking young woman. Um, I bet the poor dude didn't expect this from her though. I mean, who knows, maybe he did. I'm going to go off and assume that he didn't see this coming, though, in any sort of way. Uh, it continues, though. The woman who lives in the fifth floor apartment, Yuka. No way. Her name's Yuka? Oh, my God. That's so similar to you know. I mean, not super similar, but both with Y, U, four letters. That's crazy. 
Yuka Takoka. You know Gasai. All right, the last part's not really similar though, but Yuka and you know, that's nutty. That is definitely nutty. Was sitting at his side. Police said she admitted to stabbing the man and then calling them. Lastly, Yuka allegedly was quoted by the police saying, my plan was to first X him off and then think about Minecrafting myself with a few different words being swapped around there. But that's the story, guys. She decided to shank the dude and then X herself off as well, but instead called the police. I have no idea what was going through this woman's mind. I probably don't want to know. You probably don't want to know. But I guess we can at least say, thankfully, she ended up not making the decision to X herself off and let the dude bleed out and also, you know, be gone as well. Apparently, he's in critical condition. So hopefully, he recovers, makes a strong, quick recovery. And uh, even so, I have a feeling that their relationship is going to be very, very strange from this point moving forward. Let's take a look at some of the comments on this story. One user writes, wow, wonder what that's all about. Maybe he dumped her. Next comment, no point speculating. Japan is a land of complexity and contradictions. I'm still shocked from an episode on the Shikansen from Hiroshima back to Osaka. A young woman, two kids in tow, heaps of luggage. So I offered to help put some of it in the rack above. She launched into a tirade about how she raised two kids on her own, does not need a man for anything, and that she will put her luggage away as soon as I get out of her way. I can only surmise she had suffered terribly. Whoa. Japan police, too quick with the attempted murder charge and stabbing. You can stab someone and not be intending to murder them. I don't think that would really hold up at all, though. Another comment. I don't know about Japan. However, in New York, if you stab someone with a blade longer than three inches above their knees, it is considered attempted murder if the person doesn't get X'd off. And I think that's rightfully so. I mean, that's a ridiculous argument. Oh, I shanked him, but I didn't mean to actually, uh, you know... X him off, which by the way, I mean, there's so much more into it too. Even if you don't physically X them off after shanking them, you are making that person incur potentially medical expenses that they certainly cannot afford to cover. That alone could ruin their life. I'm just bringing another perspective into the story as well. Uh, I know because I've looked into like recovering from gunshots and victims of being shot have said time and time again that it's such an expensive thing to go through that even if they make it out okay, sometimes their life is just screwed up because of the amount of debt. Now, of course, there are remedies to that, but not all the time do you get a good remedy to a situation like that. Continuing on, though, we have some more comments. Um, let's see. Also, it's considered a charge and not a conviction. Furthermore, she was admitted to trying to X him off. The attempted murder charge sounds correct. And I agree with that as well. Absolutely. Moving on, though, another comment. This one's downvoted. Might be a bad one. Let's see. Stomach for attempted murder. Sounds like she didn't really want to kill him. Just make him hurt. So this person apparently also didn't read the story at all. I mean, how? it's such a short story. It's literally, uh, it's, it's so short. How do you miss the part where it claims that she admitted allegedly to doing this? I have no idea, guys. This is literally, like I said, I'll link the story in the description so you guys can take a look. But it's literally maybe a paragraph long. It's so short. It's so short. Two more comments. Whether if you are a man or a woman, get out of a relationship if you think you are in danger. Probably some pretty good advice. And the last comment. If anyone's curious, here's the girl slash news report of it on YouTube. Ooh, let me see what that link's about. Okay, the YouTube video link was, uh, it took you to Japan Today's YouTube channel, the videos in Japanese, and as far as I can tell, it's not even relative to the article. It's actually looking at a car crash. So I don't think that person linked the right thing. Maybe they're just joking around. Again, I'll say this for the third time now, I think. I'll link the article in the description if you guys want to take a look at that. Anyways, I have some shout outs as we wrap this video up. For the video, petition to force Bakugo and Kirishima ship. My Hero Academia and Horikoshi can't catch a break. Thank you, my friends, for helping to promote that video over on Twitter. And those people were Lalinfilis Army, Random Fandom, Maria Hargis Art, Cuttlefish Not a Reaper, The Dark Lord of the Sith, Kayama Kumorti, and Paragon Langston of Amped Guard. Thank you all very much for helping to promote that video. I hope you enjoyed that one. And if you haven't seen that video yet and you're a fan of My Hero Academia, you gotta check it out.
Lastly, the default YouTube stuff. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe if you're not, and turn that notification bell on as well so your subscription can actually work. And consider joining our Discord server. Now with over 3,000 members, we're still making some changes to it. Some good things are in the works for that server, so it's going to be super lit. We would love to have you there, and I will see you next time. Dinner.